The pocket wallet was invented in the 17th century. Europe had switched to paper money, and the gents of the day needed a handy way to pocket their cash. There's a slot for everything, credit cards, ID, and of course cash. And yet these wallets remain slim enough to fit into a trouser pocket. These fine, handcrafted pocketbooks are made from high-grade vegetable tanned leather. An employee selects a hide and arranges it on a work table. Then he chooses a die shaped like one of the wallets inside pockets. Using this hydraulic press, he punches out the part. He cuts 11 different components for the wallet's interior, using a custom die for each one. He chooses tougher leather in a contrasting color for the wallet's exterior. He now measures the thickness of the interior components. Using what's called a skiving machine, he shaves them down to 0.7 of a millimeter. Another worker preheats an embossing machine. It hot stamps a pocket part with the company name and the Royal Warrant logo, which signifies that the Prince of Wales purchases this company's leather goods. Using a different skiving machine, they shave down the edges of the exterior wallet parts. This thinner border will make the parts easier to assemble later. The next worker applies a water-based adhesive to a leather strip. It will reinforce the top of a fabric square. With this manual device, she turns the top edge to fold it in a straight line. This leather-trimmed fabric square will be used to create a credit card pocket. She stamps a thin groove onto the leather trim to give it some definition. Next, she builds a credit card slot with two of the squares. Using an awl, she scores a line in the fabric. The line serves as a guide as she stitches the squares together to complete the slot. She layers a third leather-trimmed block of fabric to create a second slot. Then adds a leather panel which forms the third credit card slot. She glues and tucks the excess leather over the back of the fabric packet. Then she checks the alignment of the slots with a tool called a bone folder. The next worker sews the credit card compartment together. There are two of these per wallet. They glue both compartments to the wallet's spine, made of fabric and leather. This spine is called the bend section, because it bends to fold the wallet in two. She attaches the bend section to a divider for the money pocket. This divider is a bit longer than the assembled interior components, to facilitate the bending action. She glues a lining to the wallet's leather exterior. Here, she uses a special hammer to ensure the interior and exterior components of this wallet adhere well. Then she trims the corner of the rim to make it look neat. She rounds the corners of the wallet to give them a gentler profile. Now she stitches the assembly together, leaving the bill pocket open at the top. The next worker tucks a metal wedge under the rim to protect the rest of the wallet, as she trims the rim close to the stitch. Removing these few slivers will make the wallet more flexible. She slides the bone folder into each credit card slot to remove excess glue. Finally, a few dabs of leather preservative and this luxury wallet is ready for retail with a price tag to match. The only question is, will that be cash or credit?